Previously on Dream Team. It's not too bad. Are you okay? <laughs> yeah, fine. As from today, I owe you nothing. Why not say me and you go out for a little celebratory and talk about your career? Love to. Actually, I'm taking my exams on Saturday. Oh, really? Oh, God. What if I fail? You are not going to fail, I promise. And this could well be the last kick of the match, and it is. It's all over. A Lee Presley goal, enough to give Harchester a 1-0 victory over Aston Villa. But the real hero, player manager Stuart Naismith, who has been quite outstanding in this match. A number of very important, timely interceptions which frustrated Aston Villa throughout the afternoon. And try as they might, they just couldn't find a way past the Harchester player manager. But there has to be genuine concern about the knee injury that the Harchester defender brought into this match. Abby Fletcher helping Stuart Naismith off. But ultimately, the Dragons' lair delighted at another three important Premiership points. They beat Aston Villa 1-0. Can you take a look at that knee? There's nothing wrong with it, it's fine. But it still could be damaged. Look, just stop fussing me, please. Well done. Got a fan for you. Hello. Here comes Sparkers. They all won. Birmingham, Liverpool, Manchester City. Everyone. No better off. He's still sixth. So not seventh, Bill. Just keep winning, we'll be finished. Thank you, Chef. Thank you. Thank you. Sleep well? Yeah. Can I get your breakfast? I'll take your time. How long is this going to go on for? What? This? Not now, myself. Do you want me to move out? We've been through this. No, I don't want you to move out. People think something's happened. It has happened! There's Stuart. Look, Mr. I've got to go. The baby's here. will be here any minute. Can you take me anything? Abby! Any chance of a lift? Car's broken down. I thought I heard the engine. Yeah, it turned over, but it won't start. Sure. How's the knee this morning? 
There's ten of them out there. One of them's got a placard. It says, Lee, I'm all shook up. It's madness. Look, Harchester now have a fight on their hands if they are to keep Presley, who at just 17 years old cannot yet sign a professional contract. Their premiership vultures are circling all... He's only played two games. That's all it takes. Didn't hear you coming last night. Yeah, well, it was late. Anyway, what are you doing here? Oh, I thought you might want me around for a bit, you know, while you get used to all this. Let's, do you want some breakfast? Um, what, how about a lift? I'm sorted. Morning all. You the man. Let's get you into the wheels for this lot outside, Morgan. See you later, Jeff, yeah? The sooner you get your agent's licence, the sooner we can get that crook out of our lives. Can't you just rest it today? No. Maybe I better have a cortisone injection just to be on the safe side. No way. Certainly not for a training session. Come on. I'm not giving you any more cortisone, Stuart. It's just masking the problem. There isn't a problem. It's just a bit of inflammation. I said no, Stuart. You shouldn't be training anyway. Why can't you just coach today? Abby, the babysitter's got to... Excuse me. I'm right in the middle of something here. <gasps> I'm sorry, Abby, but um, obviously Stuart is more important than your baby. Anyway, as I was saying, you shouldn't be training. Get up, Marcel! That was pathetic! Please, again, lads! Training exercise, not a fight. You're right. Look, I'm fine, Abby. Just stop fussing, please. All right, everybody. All right, let's go again. Just face up. All right, push out. Lee, 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 Lee. Possession? Usual, you know. Good. Look, I'm pulling us out of that shampoo ad. They want to do it tomorrow afternoon, and uh, you're busy tomorrow afternoon. I am? Yeah. Selling mobile phones. On the telly. Look, me and you need to get something written down on paper, you know? I'm running round, getting all this publicity, spreading the word, but I need some assurances, you know? I want to make our partnership official. I want you to sign for player power. Just give us some time to think about it, yeah? Yeah, no pressure, man, no pressure. Just, there's some things I want to do, big money stuff that I can't do unless you've signed, you know? Need a lift? Yeah, cheers. I'll get my car fixed soon. Promise. Where are we going? The van's is that way. I'm going to the hospital. Why? I told you I was fine. Take me back. You need to see a doctor. Since when? Since you stopped being able to drive your car into work in the morning. Well? <clears throat> well, uh... You have a, a meniscal tear along the cartilage inside your knee. Whether or not this has uh, progressed to an ACL tear, it's uh, difficult to say. There's too much swelling. But if you've been pushing it as much as you say you have, then there's a possibility that might be the case. What does that mean? It means you need to rest your knee completely. I'm sorry, but that's impossible. I've got to play on Sunday. Abby will just have to keep giving me the injections. The knee always feels better after. If this is an ACL tear, playing on it could seriously damage the cartilage. Look, I'm being serious, Mr. Naismith. Carry on the way you are. You're going to end your career.
Hey, Nick. Joel's only got me in an advert. Advertising phones. I was unpaid at the minute, but he promised me that soon the big books are going to start rolling in. And I, uh, I think I'm on assignment. Nicky, what's up? Nicky, what is it? I failed my agency exams. <laughs> I'll never be an agent. I'll never be anything. Oh, Nicky, we can sort something out. Hey, Joe. All right, mate, it's Lee. Yeah, yeah, sign, sign. Listen, I booked that contract. Yeah, I'll sign. But on one condition. So I said to Lee, that's not a condition. That's a blessing. Mm -hmm. Whoa! <laughs> Guys, so you come to play a part, work as a PA for six months until you've reset those exams, then I'll get you as a job as an agent. Look, when I say... PA, you'll basically be an agent, you know? I'll just bring you onto the scene, show you the movers and the groovers, show you the ropes. You just won't be able to get an agent salary until you've passed those exams. Now listen, big man, this mobile phone deal. I'm sorry it's like Doshos and Nonos, but as you know, it's all about building profile. And we're building yours up. It won't be long before the big books start rolling in. Hey, cheers. Cheers. in for exploratory surgery as soon as possible. Oh, look, you just have to wait. I can't miss a game at the moment, Abby. Did you listen to a word that doctor said, Stuart? Do you want to end up on crutches or in a wheelchair? You have to rest it, Stuart. Look, I know it's hard, but get this sorted now and you could be playing for years yet. Time. What? With Stuart. Did you have a nice time? Well, I was looking after your baby. Where was the babysitter? She left two hours ago. Thanks. Thanks? Where were you? I don't think that's any of your business. I can't handle this anymore. Handle what? You don't talk to me. You leave the room when I enter. You flinch if I even touch you by accident. And it's killing me. Don't be so dramatic, Marcel. It's just a bit awkward between us, that's all. Stop trying to be so nice to me all the time. Maybe it will be okay. Abby! I love you. Don't you understand? I'm in love with you. I'm sorry. I don't love you. Orange juice, please. You want to see me? Our defense yesterday was shambolic. You know I've got two days left of the transfer window. Make the most of it. I appreciate the advice, but I'll be making the management decision. You know we need someone. There are no funds available. Sell me, then. <laughs> Stuart, I'm serious. I'm demanding a transfer. If that's what you want, we'll get you one. Marcel wants a transfer. Do you know why he wants to go? All I know is that he wants out, and I think we should sell him. I'm surprised at you, Stuart. He's our captain, one of our best players. We have a strong midfield. We have no one of quality in defence. We have you. My knee's been giving me some problems. I need to rest it, Pilar. That's all we need. We can get big money for Marcel. Maybe 10 mil. With that, we can find replacements. If we move fast. I've got a couple of players in mind. Just say the word and I'll go get them. I'll consider it. 
The answer is no. Why? We need you. The team needs you. Not my problem. <laughs> I can't believe this is you. You care about this club. I know you do. What's changed? Bankruptcy? Pay cuts? Psychopath goalkeeper? Idiot owners? You pick one anywhere suit me. No. There's something else. I know you. No, Bilal. You used to know me. And you will sell me. I will leave you with no choice. Marcel! I need you to help me. Um, sit down, please. Uh, help you with what exactly? Getting out of this football club. Hmm, could get you off this planet if the price was right. Problems? Yeah, I want to go. They won't let me. Uh, Pillar being a stubborn old cow, eh? <sighs> well, as much as I hate to upset her, business is business. Gonna have to move fast, though. Transfer window closes in a couple of days. So what do we do? We make waves, Marcel. We make waves. So, Lee, you ready to be a movie star? It's only an advent, Nicky. Here's the lad, Lee Presley. Lee, Mick Garcia, the director. John, no. What's happening? Good. Yeah. Listen, here's your script, mate. Just a couple of lines, yeah? I've got to film it out on the uh, training pitch. Now, look. Phone's your product. Presley's my product. Um. Oh, Nicky, do us a favour, darling. Find us some teas and some nibbles, yeah? I don't know about you, but I'm starving. She used to make a reception to the kitchen, so I'll sort it out. Now listen, as I was saying, the phone's on for the present of my phone, the one in foreground, all the way through this. So right. Pronti? Rehearsal. Ding ding. Ding ding. Man, that shows it. Something wrong with the script, Lee? No. Right, and the phone rings, and you say, Come on, kid, these lads charge by the hour. Just read the damn lines. Do you read the damn lines? Me? Call yourself a professional. Sort him out. Look, just give us five minutes, OK? This is so embarrassing. Nothing. He's never going to make me an agent now. Why are you trying to ruin it for me? Sod off. No, you sod off. I've had to deal with far too many hotshot footballers who think they're God's gift. So you take this script, you get out there, and you read those lines. Oh my God. You can't read, can you? <sighs> Lee! Lee, wait. I'm so sorry. Look, did no one ever teach you? Like your school or your mum? I just find it incredible you've hidden it for so long. Yeah, well, you get good at it. Lee, you're going to need to learn in this game. Guys! Guys! Come on, we really need to get rolling. OK, five minutes. Look, let's do a deal. You help make me a hotshot agent, and I'll teach you how to read. OK. OK. Come on, let's go see these lines. Thanks for coming, Marianne. Mm -hmm. I think this could be a good move for you. OK, persuade me then. Well. Thank you. 
We're a top six club. Yeah, but that's for now. We're always. There's ambition at Harchester. We want the Champions League. We've got the team and the team spirit to do it. What about the owners then? Controllable. Don't worry, we've got a good management team at Harchester. The players know it. The owners know it. Are you sure this is going to work? Marcel, the unsettled player routine is a fine footballing tradition. It never fails. So what do I say? Nothing too bad. Don't say anything that's going to come back and haunt you. Just say it's time you considered yourself, your career. You're a man of ambition. Good morning and welcome along to Sky Sports News. All the main sports headlines are to follow. First though, we have an exclusive for Sky Sports News. On the phone, we have Marcel Sabatier, captain of Harchester United, who wishes to talk live to Sky Sports News about his decision to leave Harchester United. So, can we assume that this meeting has been successful? You talk the talk, Stuart. It all sounds good to me. My agent will be in touch. Okay, well, I don't need to remind you that we're a little pressed for time, transfer window being as it is. No, you don't. Goodbye, Stuart. Goodbye. They fit into the pay structure here, so there won't be a problem with his wage demands. We'll be faxing over a formal offer to the club later today. Goodbye. You're looking a little bit happier. I've persuaded Mario Melchior to join us. Thank God for that. Your knee will be very grateful. I know it must be hard for you. You're doing the right thing. Well, it wasn't really down to me. The timing's been fortunate, that's all. If Marcel wasn't going, then there wouldn't be any money. Marcel's going. Excuse me? Gaffer, the man's got no respect. What are you going to do about it, bro? Do what? What are you talking about? You haven't seen it. Better show him then. Are you saying Naismith's handling of the club affairs is pushing you out? As a manager, Stuart Naismith lacks experience and um, sometimes he chose. Marcel Sabatier there, captain of Harchester United. What could make my captain insult me and the team on national television? You refused to sell him, didn't you? You know, part of me is actually glad he did it. You surprised me. At least now you have to get rid of him. I don't and I won't. I'm this close to signing Mario Melchiard. What are you going to do? Forge my signature on the check? I did not give you permission to go for him. I wasn't aware I needed permission, Pillar. I thought we were a team. Not on this issue. Now, a call for a press conference, which you're late for. Get in there and issue a hands of warning. I feel like I wanna smack somebody. Turn around and bitch slap somebody. But I ain't going out, bro. No, no, no. I ain't giving in to it. No, no, no. Anxiety's bashing my mind in. Terrorizing my soul like Bill Laden. But I ain't falling down, bro. No, no, no. I won't lose control. They say, What's going on here? Marcel, talk to me. Why are you doing this? Is it me? You? You're only a physiotherapist, Sabi. Don't. It doesn't suit you. Oh, no? Then tell me, Abby. What does suit me? How should I behave? Like you? You want me to ignore you? Pretend like nothing happened? It was just sex. Jesus, I wish it had never happened. Just sex? That's all it was for you? Well, if you can be swayed so easily, I'm pretty fledged.
What cafe? You want an action replay? <sighs> you don't have to do things twice with the new Torxin A600 with video messaging. Just simply press record and send it to one of your friends. Unbelievable. And cut that. It's good for sound, yeah? Excellent. Look, as soon as the advent Ciao, goes baby. out, mate, everyone's going to want a little bit of Lee Presley. All right, see you in the morning. Cheers on. Bye. 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 Ciao, Bella. So he got to you too, eh? Yeah, the only difference is, yeah, is that when Joel talks, things actually happen. Just out of interest, son, how much did you get for the ad? Got this from the phone company, plus unlimited calls and text. Look, son, for an ad campaign like that, you should be getting 35, 40k, minus these 10%. See, it's all about raising profile. I do this for nothing now. Get my profile up, and the big books start rolling in. I see. Follow me. Listen carefully. Brooks. Joe. Andrew here from Slate Advertising. Listen, I understand you're looking after the young Lee Presley these days. I certainly am. Well, we want him for a boot campaign. We're running the new Cerberus model. Really? Mm. We're offering mm, 50 grand for a one-off ad. We can talk sponsorship. <sighs> oh, I'm not sure you're getting out of bed for anything less than 60. Well, maybe we can stretch to 60. Yeah, we'll talk. Ciao. Alrighty then. Alright, Jeff, what are you playing on? Give it time, son. You'll see. There have been problems. Football's an emotional business. Marcel felt he wasn't being listened to, so he decided to get our attention another way. Personally, I can think of more appropriate channels of communication. <laughs> did it work? Yes, it did. And we sat down, had a little talk. He told me his problems. And to quote a dear old mentor, we decided I was right. But surely you crossed the line. Marcel is well aware what he did was wrong. He's very sorry. And he wants to assure you all that he's very happy here. And happy with the way the club is currently run. I will not be held ransom by you. What you did was totally unprofessional. How dare you insult your manager? You left me no choice. You left me with none. These are desperate times. Come on, Pilar. It makes good business sense for you to sell me right now. Stuart is injured. You need more defenders. We need a strong midfield too. I have just made fools out of you on national television. Let me go! No! This isn't about football. Of course it is. This is about you and me. We're in sick. We're on course for Europe. Marcel Sabatier is captain in a team that's headed for the Champions League. And surely this puts a strain on your relationship with Sabatier. I think I've answered enough questions for today. So you're not going to show him the door? Thank you. I won't let you walk out of me again. So, this is about revenge? For me ending our relationship? No, this is not about revenge. And so have I. He's still going nowhere. So Melchior's pulled out. 
Just got the call. I can hardly blame him. You're not going to play? No. No. Glad to hear it. <clears throat> to think I nearly killed myself. What kind of a manager are you? You let that woman do whatever she wants, let her make irrational decisions that you know are wrong? Who do you think you are? If you were more of a man, I wouldn't be stuck here playing in this joke of a club. Yeah. Just keep talking, Marcel, keep talking! Because you're stuck here, mate, you can be sure about that! And I want you right in the reserves before you talk to me like that again! Reserves. No! Marcel, please! Oh, you precious steward! He's hurt! Stay out of this. You've lost it! I have lost it! Look at you, people! This has nothing to do with me! This is Pilar, Abby, you! Three little women! Look out! Look at you! Hush this united entire defense in a mess in the floor! Smith rumoured that he tried to sign the Chelsea defender Mario Melchior, but that has failed to materialise and close to the end of the transfer window. The only player that Harchester have managed to bring in is suspended controversial goalkeeper Vivian Jaws Wright, while Marcel Sabatier is openly criticised Stuart Naismith on Sky this week. Will he play today? Both sets of fans know the importance of today's fixture. Lee Presley, very much the name on the lips of the Harchester United fans. His performance is recently outstanding as Harchester lie fifth in the Premiership. Got two excuses to celebrate today. You're allowed the lemonade for the game, aren't you? Oh, are you? Yeah. All right, see. Firstly, is your contract with player power. She's going to ensure that Lee becomes one of the biggest footballing celebrities in the country. No, 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 no. The world. And second. And second, my son is your first paid, and I said paid, TV advert for none other than the Cerberus football boot. Oh, yeah. How much? I like this kid. The way he just cuts the chase. No messing about. I said how much? Five grand. Five thousand pounds. Five grand. It's not bad for a day's work, kid, is it, eh? Not 60. Which means 60. That is what Andrew from Slate offered, isn't it? Look, you don't understand the game, Lee. Look, I, I know what you're thinking. What am I thinking? Look, overheads, mate. Running costs. Consultancy fees. It all costs. I know it's not fair, but... You're supposed to earn 10%, Joel. Not 100 where are you going? You're right. It is all about raising profile. And you'll have to work on yours, Sonny Jim. Because it's just took a nose dive. Bye bye, Jim. Yeah, I'll catch you again, Jeff. Would you like to set your bill now, sir? Yeah. How could you let him get away with that? What about your money, me? Yeah, well. He was kind enough to give me this. I don't want to say I told you so, but... Yeah, listen, nothing changes here. He lied, but so did you. I'm going to find an 18 that doesn't. You don't understand, do you, son? You found one that doesn't lie. And she failed her exams. In fact, that's probably why she failed her exams. We're all sharks, Lee. That's the world we're in. But I'm the shark who got you out of prison. I am the shark who persuaded Matt to let you live in his house, and I am the shark who stopped him going to the police when you robbed him blind. Yeah, I lied. But I lied for both of us. Now, you gonna let me carry on lying for the both of us, or are you gonna go and find some selfish idiot who only lies for himself, huh? Come on, go and play a blinder. 
Stuart Naismith surprisingly names himself on the bench today despite carrying a knee injury but keeps his faith in youth the stars of the under 19 side last season Justin Lee, Ryan Lee, Dutsmore, Whitemore and teenage sensation Presley all figure I saw your name on the team sheet It's just a precaution You can't play on that knee I don't intend to What? Would you rather walk back out through the door? Would you? You better get changed. As I was saying. Stuart? not starting? No, I told you, I'm injured. But this game, if we lose... I gave you the opportunity to bring someone in, you chose not to. That was a choice to make, I explained! Yeah, you say that now, but the fact is you're quite happy for me to go out there, risk everything, so you can keep my son. Well, I won't do it. Sorry. You made your choice, Pinar. Now I'm making mine. Playing conditions nigh on perfect today at the Dragon's Lair as Manchester City get us underway, knowing that the three points from their point of view just as important as they are for Harchester. Now, Harchester getting forward with some menace here inside the opening seconds. It falls for Presley! Oh, what a goal! And forget about this boy's age, he is leading by example. A goal in the first minute for Harchester. Winning. Manchester City forcing the issue at the moment. And Harchester looking uneasy at the back. It's away by Mack. And Stuart Naismith is clearly concerned. Despite the very bright start that Harchester made, Manchester City have really been dominating possession and looking to get Nicholas and Elka in here. Oh, and good reading of the play by Justin Lee to deny an Elka. Nicky, is that you? <coughs> Come on, love. Pilar doesn't need many excuses to throw me out of this club. Finding me in the ladies' lose is going to be a difficult one to defend. Go away! Come on out. I'm a failure. No, you're not. I am. Because of one little exam. But look at it out there. He's such a star. And even if you two have made up, we can't sign him. Jeff, I failed. Someone else will snatch him up within a week. You wait and see. <laughs> what if... What if I said there was a way for you to become Lee's agent without taking the exam? You see, if you were his mother, or his legal guardian, you could act as his agent without the licence. So? You're the one adopting him, Jeff, not me. I've got no relationship with him. But if we were related, you and me, you'd be Lee's guardian too. Then you could be his agent. What are you going on about? Look, Nikki, come out, please. No. You're really going to make me do this through the door, aren't you? It wasn't like this first time round. Nikki, Nicola, will you, will you marry me, Nikki? Please. 
Harchester City are all over Harchester here. Anelka, real opportunity now. Nicholas Anelka. In by McManaman. Justin Lee turns it over. It's all hands to the pumps for Harchester at the moment. They just can't get any meaningful possession. Presley. Still, they can't get hold of the ball. And City power forward again. Fowler. Desperately close to making it 1-1. Really, the Harchester defenders arguing amongst themselves here. And it's right Phillips to Anelka. And it's there. 1-1. And it's no great surprise that Manchester City are on terms. Stuart Naismith had to be expecting that his side would concede. They've been very shaky at the back. And Stuart Naismith is leaving the Harchester bench here. We've not yet reached half-time. But clearly the player manager is not happy with what he's seeing out there. You must be out of your mind! I'm going to need a cortisone injection. I won't do it. Go into your room, get the stuff and give me an injection. Do it or I'll fire you and do it myself. Eli, I need to speak to you. You've got to stop Stuart. He's going to put himself on for the second half. Thank God for that. What? We're being slaughtered out there. He's badly injured. Do you understand that? If he plays on that knee, he's risking his career. Stuart knows his own body. He knows if he's fit to play. Don't give me that! He's gonna cripple himself because he's under such pressure to succeed. He needs somebody to stop him, Peeler. He won't listen to me. You're his boss. You can make him. I'm gonna need that coat on. Thank you for doing this, Stuart. Hang on a minute. Just go and get me the injection, Abby, please. You heard him? Fine. But I want my injection officially noted. It will be. I'm in, Stuart. Thank you. I'm not doing this for you. I'm doing this to save this football club. Milsey, hold your line. Stay tight on Anelka. Don't let him turn you. We're giving him far too much space out wide. Marcel, play deeper. Sit in front of the back four. Are you sure you should be playing, boss? Come on, hurry up. Hurry up. Please, Stuart. Just do it! Smith brings himself on for the second half and Harchester need his influence despite the fact he's carrying a knee injury and Harchester can count themselves very fortunate they're on level terms at 1-1 great tackle by Stuart Naismith on right Phillips all floated in towards Fowler Stuart Naismith away still Manchester City pushing Harchester back Naismith again with an important and timely interception Stuart Naismith there again, he has been heroic at the back. Clearly playing through the pain barrier, he looks close to tears down there. Full time whistle and Harchester stay in the top six of the 1-1 draw. And it's all down to player manager Stuart Naismith's second half performance. But has it been at a cost? He is in real agony, Stuart Naismith. Marcel Sabatier is showing genuine concern here, as is Abby Fletcher. And Stuart Naismith looks in a very bad way indeed here. And this could be catastrophic for Harchester United. Stuart Naismith. But he has shown out there today, it 
exactly what this football club means to him. Coming soon on Dream Team. First of all, delighted to say a uh, special guest has joined us, the Premiership's only player manager, Harchester's Stuart Naismith, just come straight from the hospital. I've got real concerns about his state of mind. Ladies and gentlemen, let's have some quiet, please. I've got a very special announcement to make. What's he going on about? Why don't you sit here in case we need to leg it? Won't be long. 